And so now we move from cohesion to coupling. And there's a um, couple ways to measure coupling. They have to do with afferent and efferent um, coupling measures, which are basically um, afferent is counting the number of connections coming into the module. Um, and efferent is counting the number of connections going out of the module. Arcanium. Welcome to a production by Dr. Miles Aaron, CEO and co-founder at Arcanium Ventures. Don't forget to subscribe. 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 So why are efferent and afferent so similar words? Um, I can't begin to tell you. I think it's terrible um, definitions, but um, you can just think of efferent as being beginning with E and that having to do with the word exit. Um, the, the book that I'm uh, referencing for this video called Fundamentals to Software Architecture gives that example and says, hey, afferent, A becomes comes before E, so it's going coming in. But I think it's kind of a stretch. They're pretty terrible definitions and you just have to kind of memorize them. Um, but this is very easy. It's something that you can write some code to test or you can get a module to test um, your own code with that says, what counts the number of inputs versus the number of outputs and uses that to measure coupling. Um, and from those, we can derive several um, derived characteristics of coupling that can tell us some interesting information about our system. The three that we'll talk about today are abstractness, instability, and different from the main sequence. So let's start with abstractness. Abstractness basically measures the number of abstract artifacts um, versus the, or divided by the number of concrete artifacts. And so I think the way that I see this is that if, if, if you have a module um, and there's some function that's going to be called by an outside module, then that would be a, um, a one of the concrete artifacts. Now, if that function is calling some other function that isn't called from outside the module, then that's an abstract, that's an abstraction. It's something that's helping you do the calculation that you've abs abstracted away. And so you can measure the abstractness and say that a high abstraction level or a high abstractness um, leads to difficult to read, difficult to understand code. And so you're in this kind of state of pain for, for just making sense of what's going on. Where if, you're, um, if your abstractness is too low, then that means that you basically have one concrete artifact. Um, it becomes almost unusable. So you're in a crisis of usability where you're not reusing any, um, any uh, functions and you've just got this, this one unwieldy uh, piece of code to deal with. The next characteristic um, of coupling or measurement of coupling um, is called instability. And instability is just the, um, the number of efferent connections um, in a module divided by the sum of the afferent and the afferent connections. So in pure English, um, this is the number of um, connections that are going out of the module divided by the sum of the number going out and the number coming in. And basically this describes the volatility of that code. Um, if the instability is high, it will be um, subject to many bugs and issues um, because it's relying on uh, too many things that are outside. So that's why we have in the numerator, the efferent coupling and in the denominator, the efferent and the afferent coupling. Because if our efferent coupling is too high, it's basically telling us that um, this, when we go to change things in our code base, this module is instable it's likely to have issues, it's likely to break, it's likely to have bugs. Um, so there are two characteristics that you can easily measure, abstractness and um, instability as measurements of coupling. So now let's get to the third one, which kind of combines the, the two of those. So the third uh, measurement of coupling is this distance from the main sequence. And I'm gonna throw a plot up here, bing, um, that is, uh, important to see just because it, it's hard to explain as an equation with just words. Um, but basically what we're saying is that the distance 
um, from this line um, where you're looking at um, basically the, the abstractness plus the instability minus one. You've got the instability on the x-axis and the abstractness on the y-axis, and you're plotting a line, um, kind of a unit line there. And so basically what this is telling you is um, if you are above that line, um, you start to get into the zone of uh, uselessness. So if your instability and your abstractness are very high, then it's going to be difficult to use that code to do something. Um, it is very coupled to other things because it's highly unstable and it's highly abstract. So it's difficult to read and reason about. So it's just, it's just not very useful. Um, as you bring your instability way down and your abstractness way down, you can actually go too low. And as you come below that line, you get into what we call the zone of pain. Um, and that's where, you know, your, your abstractness is so low that your code is just a big, huge, you know, novel of code to get through. It's not broken out logically. Um, and your um, instability is low um, as a result because it's it's not really um, connecting to other modules in an effective way. And so you're just, you're just in a place where it's very painful to work on. And so what it turns out is that there is kind of a happy medium between these two things. And um, the distance from the main sequence can, can help you um, uncover that, that Goldilocks zone of um, being pain-free and ultimately more usable due to the right amount of coupling in your software. Video production by Brian Harris. Music by Young Logos and Otis McDonald. Sponsored by Arcanium.